Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you happen to be watching this. Welcome back for another match day experience on the channel. And it's the first week midweek match day experience that I've ever recorded. So this will be quite interesting to see how this goes down. I hope you all enjoy it. Now today we're off to go watch Needham Market against Lowestoft. And they both play in the, I think it's the Evo Stick division which is like seventh tier of english football so it's just below the conference north and south so it's a good level of football to be honest so i'm looking forward to it two teams from suffolk in this division it's kind of a local rivalry i guess not they're, they're, they're quite far apart but in terms of the league it's a it's a local rivalry now there's only six games been played in the season so far needham are sat in 15th they've won two drawn two and lost two so they're sitting mid just below mid table Lower Stoffel, on the other hand, have had a really bad start to the season. They have played six, lost five, and only won one game. So they are playing awful <laughs> at the moment. So both teams are going to be desperate for a win to really kind of kickstart their season. So it's a massive game. I'm expecting quite a tight match. But Needham Market is literally only on the road about, about four or five miles away from where I live. So I'm now going to go back in, have some food get myself all full up <laughs> and then go get changed and then we're gonna head off to the match i'm hoping that i should be meeting up with rob who you saw on the previous episode and one of my mates aaron at the ground as well so i've, I've been to need him a couple of times but never to do anything like this so um as i said i'm buzzing for it midweek game under the floodlights that's what it's all about so i'll see you all in a few minutes when we got to the ground So the wife has just dropped me off very nice of her she didn't have to do that bless her little heart she's uh she was just she didn't want me going by train it's fair enough so apparently somewhere up here is well somewhere up here is the ground right in the middle of a housing estate hopefully my mate should be up here in a few moments if not i'm gonna be watching the game on my own been here a few times but it'll be interesting to see what kind of improvements have been done to the ground because i've been up here for about a year or so and I think there's some big stuff supposed to be going on with the academy and the reserve pitch. Not really sure what, but yeah, let's go get a ticket and let's get involved. Sorry, match one, please. Cheers. Thank you very much. Welcome this evening's team to Lowestoft Town and Needham Market. So we're a couple of minutes into the game and look who I've met up with. All right. All right, mate. We don't know where Rob is. Standard with our mate Rob. He's always, he's always late. But uh, yeah, a couple of minutes into the game. Not really an awful lot going on. Love stuff. We probably just had the first opportunity. Um, not really an awful lot to sort of. Uh, not really an awful lot to bring you, to be honest. When was the last time? Shot. <laughs> when was the last time you were here, mate? When last season and towards the end, oh, mid-season, wasn't it? Were you? Yeah. We've um, we well, come here a couple of times. It's a, to be honest, it's a good level of football. I don't really know why I don't come up here more often, but uh, yeah, as I said nil nil, not an awful lot happening. So we'll see what goes on. First effort. Number six getting talking to it. 
the ref is now taking at least three or four of the lowest off players over to him because every single time there's a 50-50, any sort of challenge, anything going on, they are effing and blind and having a go at the ref, saying he's this, saying he's that, and he's just had enough. Of this. Is 10 minutes of foul for game and the ref's had enough he's booking somebody already and fair play because he's done absolutely nothing wrong and they've been absolutely barraging him with abuse and there's no need for it no need for it Best chance of the match there for, for Needham. Great ball across the box. Shame no one could get on the end of it. It's been a good start. Both teams passing it around really well. We've just been saying, haven't we, that it's quite weird to watch lower league football where both teams are prepared to get on the ball and actually do something about it, you know? Hello. Phone call. Go on! He's gone! Oh. Oh my. Scrap that. Best chance of the game just happened right now. It was a foul. It was a foul because he proper pulled him down. No, he did. He, he I thought he sort of cut him up. No, he, he, um, he pulled him down and threw one on one with the keeper. He should be finishing that. That is a poor finish. Needham are having the better chances. Lowestoff looked quite comfortable on the ball, but Needham are having the best chances. Keeper's got it. Ooh. Ooh. They've got it away, just... Probably about five or so minutes left in the half. Needham have had the best, best opportunities. Lowestoff had a couple of shots from a little long range, nothing really to worry about. But there's already been a sub. There's, the striker has been struggling with an injury, and it looks like he's done something to his boot as well. He's been he's had a replacement boot. It hasn't worked, and now he's been taken off. So that's really that's really upset for him. So he's off before half time. But I hope something happens soon because I can't upload a nil nil to the channel. Oh, oh. Oh. Half time. <laughs> nothing really going on, to be honest. It's well, I say nothing going on. If I keep like, get shot on target, I will. Exactly. There has been so many chances. Um, probably, Needham have had about four or five chances where they've been like clear through one on one, putting balls across the box. No one's been on the end of it. No one's sort of, no one's sort of prepared to get stuck in and really get on the end. You know, make the opportunity count. They've had a couple of one on ones. Neither team has really had anything to do because last off have been shooting from long range. But yeah, nil nil. It's been a, it's been a good first half to be honest, isn't it? A it's lot been of passing. Yeah, a lot of passing. Both teams want to get it around and move it, which is actually quite good to see at this sort of level. But yeah, it is absolutely freezing. Summer. It's gone, isn't it, mate? <laughs> Summer. Summer's well and truly gone, I'm afraid. I'm back to jeans, jumper and a hoodie. Yours shall be 30 degrees next week. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, probably not in this country. <laughs> Where's 
de décision. Aaron, was it a penalty? First of all, was it a penalty? He's a keeper. There's no way he's ever. <laughs> he's a keeper. He, yeah, yeah. He's the <laughs> keepers the union. Like keepers it. union. I think where the ball oh, ended I think up. When, when you go to ground and slides like that, and you give yeah, him a sort of to asking for trouble, really. You give but, to yeah, make, yeah, he, yeah. Where, where the ball Oops, ended up? When the ball ended up, I thought by the corner flag. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Right. Um, <laughs> the keeper must have got a touch, otherwise he wouldn't have ended up there. I don't think. Yeah, it's the thing. I, I don't think it was a penalty. To be yeah, honest, as he, said, if you go down and you, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he did. For trouble, he did, but, but you could tell he actually got the ball. That's that's the thing. To be but fair, to be fair, the ref thought long and hard. Exactly, yeah. but it doesn't matter because they bloody missed the penalty anyway. I, I don't want to upload a nil nil. I can't, I can't do a nil nil. It's got to be something happened in the rest. At least of the you got some action shots to upload. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> Time, we'll be back in a sec. So, as you can see, now home and uh, trying to get this bad boy to start kicking into gear so I can get that all edited. That was a good game. 11 quid is value well spent, in my opinion. That was a really decent level of football. First half, Needham Market should have had the game sewn up. Should have been at least 5 or 6 nil. I don't know if I actually managed to record every single clip, and I've tried going through it and watching some of the highlights back, but they should have been well out of sight by the end of the first half. Even at the beginning of the second half, they had a couple of chances, and then the big talking point, which was the penalty. I've watched it back about three or four times, and I'm not convinced about it. I think the uh, keeper got the ball, but in all fairness, the lowest off players didn't really make a big deal out of it. They they kind of agreed that it was a penalty. They missed it, and then all of a sudden, the the back four for Needham made a couple of errors. Next thing you know, lowest off a two nil up, literally two nil up within a space of about three or four minutes, and then it's game over. They're chasing it, they're chasing the game, long balls, trying to get it into the area. Nothing really worked, um, but. 
that's a, a very, very, very important win for Lowestoft, and I think that will probably take them just outside of the relegation zone. I'm not 100% sure, but it was a good game. I wasn't able to do a match review at the ground because it was absolutely pouring a town with rain, so I just wanted to get home as quick as I could. But thank you very much if you have taken the time to watch the video. I really, really do appreciate it. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button. Tell me whereabouts you've been during the course of this week to any games that you've been at down in the comment section. That'd be really cool to see where you guys have been uh, watching some of your football. And yeah, subscribe for more because I'm going to be trying to go to a couple of games over the next few weeks and just see where else I can kind of go to, different grounds, etc. But as I said, if you've enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe, all that kind of stuff like that. And until we see each other next time, as always, adios.